Thank you, Speaker. I rise to make a brief contribution today on the Teaching and Education Legislation Amendment Employment Bill 2017. And I do so as a teacher who worked for 25 years as a casual on rolling temporary contracts across Sydney, the Blue Mountains and the Hawkesbury region in the years before I was elected to this place. It is this particular aspect of the bill which I would like to address, as I note that while most of the measures within this bill um, are simple practical ones, it does make some changes to the manner in which casual teachers may be employed by schools in New South Wales. Casual workers, temporary workers, are a forgotten group in our public conversation about jobs, wages and employment. Governments often pat themselves on the back for reducing unemployment, but the hidden truth is often that the headline unemployment rate is disguising the fact that a huge section of our community are underemployed or not enjoying the benefit and security of permanent work that they ought to be entitled to. This was brought into focus on a national level in recent weeks when the Fair Work Commission upheld the right of big business to refuse to offer their long-term casual employees the chance to convert to permanent part or full-time employment. The ACTU secretary, Sally McManus, pointed out this decision shows how hopelessly broken our workplace laws are. Likewise, there are examples within the state's public sector, in particular teaching, where all too often the system is built upon an assumed component of permanent casual workers. New South Wales should, in the scheme of things, be an employer of choice. Certainly there are largest, they are the largest employers, not just in this state but across the country. That means they must set the best possible example as an employer and they must signal to other employers the value they place on the continuation of their workers. This also means that there can be no further example of creeping casualisation within our public sector workforce. The Department of Education must make it as easy as possible for teachers who want permanent work to secure it. As a proud member of the New South Wales Teachers Federation and an active member of the Blue Mountains Unions Council, I am aware of a number of examples of hard-working teaching colleagues who are on rolling temporary contracts in our schools who yearn for a permanent substantive teaching position. This is about feeling and being valued by the system also. Permanent work is the unspoken missing piece of the puzzle on housing affordability also. It has been mentioned already in this place. There is no point creating additional housing supply when a whole section of our society can't take out a mortgage to buy a home. How can a family keep up with growing rents? or save for a deposit or even qualify for a mortgage if the main source of income is a casual wage in a professional field for which they spent four to five years training at university. Permanent employment is the unspoken missing piece of the puzzle on arresting the growing problem of economic inequality. How can a single parent set aside money for a rainy day to keep the car registration paid each year? or replace broken white goods when they don't have a reliable income. This is the life that I lived as a casual teacher for 25 years, and many, many of those casual teachers I came across in different schools um, lived similar lives. It is near impossible to keep your head above water when you pay each fortnight, when the pay that you receive each fortnight fluctuates and you face weeks and weeks with no income at all if the phone doesn't ring with another offer of a short-term appointment. This is what pushes households into high levels of credit card debt and financial hardship. So we must remain hypervigilant um, against creeping casualisation. And we must push to make the security of permanent employment available for every worker who requires it. And this must start here in the New South Wales public sector. As a member of the New South Wales Teachers Federation, I'd like to acknowledge, to recognise their work 
here today in fighting for better pay and conditions for my colleagues in the teaching profession, as well as their support and advocacy on behalf of temporary and casual teachers. The temporary contract component of this amendment is a good step forward. It is and it should be acknowledged. Yet it is the precarious or insecure situation and the lived experience of many workers that must be acknowledged here today. That is what we're here for.